guys, it is Monday again, and that means I'm here with another Mini Mixed Media Monday page. And in the theme of my Fill It Up Challenge, if you don't know what that is, it's an Instagram challenge and a Facebook challenge where I'm using scraps um, of random bits that I have and I just can't seem to throw away and I'm putting them in a journal in hopes to fill it up. Well today I'm doing that in my mini journal here and I'm just using random bits. One of those is a um, uh, I believe that's a recipe and then I'm going in with the part of an old um, envelope and here I'm grabbing um, a old sewing pattern. Aren't those fun? The old little vintage sewing patterns um, and being able to use it. They have some pretty cool, I like the numbers and stuff on that. And of course I'm going in with my palette knife and my gesso. Um, and remember the purpose here is just to kind of bring a little bit of cohesion um, to the page. Um, especially since you stuck a lot of different like collage bits down so that's what I'm doing there and then just going to make sure that that is good and um, dry. Um, the other part of the use it up fill it up challenge that I have going on and by the way you can find my Instagram link um, handle down at the bottom. Um, love for you to be able we are 17 days into the challenge I believe so don't fear you can always um, jump in. I'm actually going to take some bleeding tissue paper. My very very sweet friend Michelle um, she sent me this beautiful happy mail package and since then I've actually met her in real life. That's pretty amazing about the internet isn't it? But I'm going in and I'm just kind of dabbing that down like you would a watercolor um, and pulling little bits um, off of it, but isn't it cool how it just kind of um, bleeds? <laughs> Essentially, it just bleeds into the gesso, and I wanted to do that just to add a little bit of color um, onto the page, and that was a fantastic way, and now I'm going in with Lindy's uh, Stamp Gang um, inks and I don't have that color in front of me right now but it's just to give it a little bit of a tea dyed effect um, a little bit of a more vintage and darker um, look so kind of making a fluid fluid start to the page here and um, the, what I was going to say about the challenge is you're supposed to do it well my goal was 15 minutes um, or less so I think this page, including drying time, ended up being about 15 minutes. Um, and here I'm going in with just a scrap piece that I um, actually had cut out a butterfly and I could not <laughs> throw that. Is anybody else that bad? Like you can't throw those little random things that's going, oh Lord, I don't know why. No wonder my studio is such a mess because I can't let little butterfly clippings go. <laughs> but I'm going in with a palette knife and some crackle. This is Deco Arch Crackle Paste. I love this stuff. It just gives it such a great texture. Um, it's really fun to use. Um, and then I had a little bit of cheesecloth. And I'm going to go in. I don't think this one actually makes it <laughs> into the overall piece. But um, it was worth a shot. And now I'm going to go in with the Lucas uh, Payne's Gray. Um, and I really just love the dark kind of... Um, I don't know, it just gives it a little a little darker contrast that I think this page needed. So if you have a page and you're not sure where to take it next, look and see how your lights and your darks are playing. If it's super light, then add some darks and watch it pop. Then I had this little old vintage photo laying on my desk. So, in the essence of fill it up, I kind of tinkered with that. And now I grabbed an old, um, this is a old yearbook. And I have not previously 
and I'm going to peel that up ever so carefully. Um, I had not in previous, um, before this challenge, really used a lot of like imagery, like that type of imagery. Um, so it's been really fun to be able to kind of stretch myself. And here I'm going in with the sandpaper. So guys, this is a little golden nugget, okay? So I am in love with sandpaper. How freaking cool is that? Love it. And I'm just trimming it off so it makes it um, kind of cool and uh, gives it a little super vintage effect because it was in a yearbook. And then I'm going to go back in with that um, butterfly clip piece, whatever. And I'm going to put it on top of the, uh, the people that are in the water out there. I know you like how I say water. Water, water, water. And then I thought it had this really nice quote um, that was intended for her another image, but I thought it went perfect with what we had going on. And then, um, that's just a piece of jean scrap that I'm kind of playing with. And now, I know I've talked about my handbag before. The country ham bag. H-A-M. Not handbag, but the handbag. <laughs> I'm just going to take a little piece of that handbag, which I love. I use it all the time. I bought those at like, a, um... Uh, I think it was like a um, flea market. Yeah, that was the word I was looking for. And I'm going to go in and I'm just going to use that little bit of fiber a bit, like under the um, quote. And the quote says, love could turn the world on a different course. Wow, wow, how true is that? I thank you so much for joining me today. Going to add last little masking tape and call it a day. I really appreciate it. I hope you have a fantastic Monday. And you know what? Let's go out there and spread a little love with our art and have an amazing week. Thank you. Hit the subscribe button.